Hey, greetings. Performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today we're going to be talking about Chameleon retractable hose systems. This is an alternative to some of the other ones on the market. And it is what I currently have installed in my house, which, spoiler alert, probably says a lot about the product. Now, if you're not familiar with the retractable hose system, what it is, is it's a hose that retracts into the wall. And the chameleon valve is really well thought out. And the engineering behind this addressed all the little nuances that people didn't like with the other retractable hose systems. And they engineered a product around that, which is really good. Now, the first thing I'm gonna start with is going to be the handle. And this handle has a very important feature on it that the others lack, which is a suction bleed valve. It seems silly, but you know, when you have so much suction from a central vacuum, when you do go to do your dusting, you definitely wanna be able to turn it down. So that's really nice that they included that. Or if you're doing an area rug, something like that. Everything feels very solid with that hose handle. So let's get to the valve and how that works. So with the valve, you have a door here and then this magnetically shuts and it will hold itself open with a dimple. There's a nice set of instructions on here with the QR code, so if you have somebody new to the system, they can read the manual. You simply just pull this out of the wall like so. As you pull to the end, you're going to hear a click. Now the unit's locked, and there's a switch in here to turn it on. Now you can use the hose handle like so, or if you're wanting to directly connect or do something quick, you absolutely can do that as well. This swivels, which is a really handy feature. It keeps the hose from getting tangled. The other thing that's going on here is that this can be given a half twist. You can pull this out of the wall and you can plug this directly in to any traditional central vacuum outlet around your house. Now, this is an optional feature that you can have installed and it's called a cam port, which means there's an additional like toilet seat door in here that you can close up. That way when the system's on, it's not leaking there and you can go plug this in somewhere else. And unlike some of the other systems, it's not reliant on the door to make a seal. It's reliant on a gasket in here, which I think is a really, really good addition. So this hose simply just goes back in there and there's two stainless steel pins that hold that in place. And then to retract it, you give it a half twist and you turn the system on. Now, sometimes you don't want to pull the whole hose out. Occasionally, you'll just need to quickly vacuum something real quick. And that's where this cam lock comes in handy. It's a little piece that you just wedge in there, lock on, and then put back in its holder in the door. It's really ingenious and handy for quick pickups. However, this is an optional accessory. I would recommend it. Now the hose is well thought out. It's crush proof. So if you kink it, something like that, it's just gonna snap right back like so. Again, there's a swivel on the end, which really makes this nice to use and keeps the hose from tangling as easy as some of the competitors. Chameleons come with and without a hose sock. I highly recommend getting a hose sock. It protects furnitures and baseboards. It also creates a level of sound insulation, so you're not gonna hear as much of that whistling air sound uh, with this hose sock on. So where does all that hose go? As you can see in the video, I have a 60 foot hose. Here is my crawl space where the raceway is. You can see the big bends on top. Now the pipe you see on the bottom, which is the third pipe down, that's to something else. But the pipe on the top and the second pipe next to the I-beam, that is the retractable hose raceway. I want you to hear what this sounds like in the crawl space. You don't actually hear this from inside the house, but it's an interesting sound. Now, while we're on the subject of sound, here's what it sounds like when it's picking up stuff. I put the microphone on the hose. Have a listen. Yeah. 
as you can see, it's pretty quiet, even with the microphone directly attached to the hose. Now let's get to the user experience, because what is this thing like to use? Well, pretty much any attachments fit on the end of this thing, so the options are pretty endless. I find the hose very lightweight and easy to use, and it almost like disappears behind you until you have to give it a tug to give get yourself just a little more. I have other videos on the various attachments. The EBK 360 DC is definitely a must if you have carpet. Go check out my other video on that. So the Chameleon has a standard inch and a quarter taper fitting, which means you can use just about any accessories out there, including ones that are not branded to them, which I think is really nice. So if I want to use something like this old Dyson tool, I can. And that's really forward thinking compared to a lot of companies who would put a proprietary fitting on there. Now the other thing that this hose handle allows you to do is use this a little differently than you would think. You can configure this, we'll call it backwards if you will. You see how that's created a right angle? And then you can put your hose end on the end and get up high. My final thoughts on the Chameleon Valve retractable hose system are that it really does address most of the shortcomings of retractable hoses. The swivel neck on here, the way the hose sock is attached is much better than the competition. I find having the hose sock a huge plus when going through the house. It keeps my baseboards and things from getting torn up and it makes the vacuum quieter, which in turn makes it nicer to use. I find the way that this locks and unlocks in here is very, very nice. I also found that it changed my cleaning routine, which is probably the biggest takeaway. Being able to just pull the hose out of the wall, just to be able to pull the hose out of the wall like that and then plug it in, means I can take this hose and then vacuum my basement someplace I don't vacuum as often as I should. So it's really nice to just plug that in if you have an existing system with existing outlets. This would also be nice if you were trying to do the car or something in the garage. If you only had one of the hose, this does everything. So I find that really nice, which also makes this very versatile to install. Now, in my particular installation, I have a 60 foot hose in the middle of the house, which gets just about everywhere. And that was by design of this installation. A lot of people are only going to use like the 30 or the 40 foot units. So keep that in mind when you see this hose look overly large, that's why, it's because we're doing a bigger area. But if you were doing like a 3,000 square foot house, you'd have a shorter hose than this probably. The one negative that I've found to this system is airflow. The hose on this is a little narrower than some of the other options, which means it doesn't get as much airflow. So that could be a negative if your system's really stressed or you bought an undersized system. So make sure you have the appropriate system for this to work properly. The quality of this is top notch. This really does feel higher quality in the hand than some of the other retractable hose systems. The other thing I really like, you know, we're not doing an into shop section like we usually do because there's not much to do here, but they do make a kit where you can get just the door, just the little parts and service the individual pieces that's pretty unique to this product, and that's something I really have to give HP products a big round of applause for doing. And speaking of HP products, I just want to disclose that I am a dealer of this product, and I did get this product sent to me as a demo from HP products. However, I did also have a hide hose before this installed in the same location. You can go check out the review on that. And I think this review is just as objective. I guess that makes me objective and non-objective at the same time, uh, but you be the judge, type in the comments below. Speaking of comments below, if you have any questions about this, please type them in the comments or your experience with the Hide a Hose. I want to hear your experience with the Hide a Hose Chameleon. We'd love to hear from you. If you want to talk about other vacuums, something not related to the Chameleon, check out our Discord server, link below to that, where we talk vacuum cleaners and all sorts of things all day long as well. 
have yourself a wonderful day.